Assalamualaikum. I am Ms. Bhavakar, PhD scholar, and my topic is awareness campaign on parental training of early childhood development and care. And my co-authors are Dr. Hina Noor, Assistant Professor, Lama Iqbal Open University, and Muhammad Imran Masih, PhD scholar, Special Education Department. Uh, awareness campaign about the uh, early childhood development and parenting. It was a project of UNICEF and uh, I have provided the training to parents and uh, that was awareness program and um, every child deserved the best start of the life and uh, there was uh, uh, that time period was 0 to 8 year for the training purpose. Parents of uh, 0 to 8 year child uh, children were involved in this study. Child development period was from conception to the primary uh, school year that was 0 to 8 year and the term parenting was used uh, we thought that the parenting means the only biological parents um, I, I trained the parents that there are no there are not uh, biological parents are involved in parenting and uh, there are some caregivers and grandparents and siblings and uh, um, any caregiver can be a parent for the parental training or awareness campaign they can be part of the awareness campaign caregiver sorry caregiver include mother father sibling grandparents unicef has supported the government to uh, train those parents for this purpose because parents are not aware about the their uh, child development time period that is very crucial time period 0 to 8 year time period is very crucial and uh, in our dilemma parents are not concerning in this time period in the like in our society we uh, parents depends on their parent, uh, grandparents and uh, they hand over the children to their grand grandparents and especially the those who are working ladies this package consists of the training manual and uh, counseling cards flyers were shared with the uh, flyers were used to train the parents and other communication material was used to train the parents and this session was conducted on zoom and whatsapp group and facebook fake um, social media was used to train these parents there were three modules of early childhood development and uh, these uh, three modules were related to first module was early childhood development and its importance and uh, early childhood and its importance was uh, taught to the parents and the second module was related to the counseling skills and the third module was related to the key family practices in counseling skills um, parents were trained about their um, to uh, calm down their stress level to reduce their stress level to uh, train them how to manage or how to cope up their stress to manage their uh, students uh, sorry uh, children household cores and their um, mental stress related problems Module 1 uh, that was related to the importance of early childhood and introduction to the nourishing cares and positive parenting was involved in it and uh, key family care practices was involved in it and family and harmonious relationship was included in that uh, module. Parenting is the process of supporting the physical, emotional, cognitive development, intellectual development and infancy in the infancy to adulthood. Our concern or our layman practices considered that the only physical concerns are important in the time early childhood time period. No, there is a, this module told the parents that regarding um, simultaneously their cognitive development is very important, their social and emotional development is very important. Sensitivity and critical time period of development impacts the lifelong development process which uh, we consider that our childhood memories are very important for us. Same goes for our children but due to our concerns of the uh, our practical or official work we deny these stages and we consider only physical and the feeding process of the students or children. Uh, this module told the parents about the, their mental health is very important and their emotional health is very important. Children need proper nutrition, good health, good care, positive parenting through the stimulation and the play uh, therapy and the sens sensation involve their sensation as well. And the musical activities also play a very important role in the early childhood domain. 
and the research proved that the um, parents should interact with the uh, children at least for 30 minutes you are busy you are your schedule is very tough and tired but there should be 30 minutes for the, your children next please in the module 2 counseling skills were taught to the parents parenting education is an interactive method for the um, education process and counseling process and care uh, taught the caregivers that counseling is a very important for the parents and as well as for the uh, children counseling help mothers and caregivers in thinking about specific health practices it includes mother health care also and uh, sharing the burden with family members and caregivers and importance of social emotional mental health care Module 3 related to the key family practices. It's, uh, um, it's considered the um, action of the household level to ensure that the optimal level of the well-being children. Key family practices include spousal relationship should be strong, family uh, planning and involvement of the men and protection of the um, health care, hygiene, social emotional care and wash. Wash is water and uh, sanitation hygiene. Uh, hygiene aspect also included in it and research also proved that the those fathers are, fathers are involved in their caregivers and uh, are looking after their children their mental health is very uh, effective and their mental health uh, they grow very well for enhancing students achievement research proved that the uh, two students are uh, can be reformed they include the initiative for the promotion of their mental health concerns and parenting style also very important that there are so many parenting style uh, authoritative style and friendly relationship with the parents and friendly relationship with the parents of uh, with the children is very important and they, those students those children grow very well The significance of the study is the parents are among the most important uh, people in the life of the young children. Parents include mother, fathers as well as the other caregivers can be the uh, can be play the important role uh, in the life of the children. Objective of the study was to uh, explore the awareness level of the parents and early childhood care before the awareness campaign and the second objective was to find out the increase in the awareness level of the parents about early childhood and key family practices after the campaign. This is Muhammad Imran Ji. As Madam has mentioned about the three modules of uh, uh, early childhood development. Uh, for children with special need, these three modules are more effective and parents have more responsibility towards their children as compared to the normal children. This was a uh, experimental study with con uh, pre-test and post-test control group design. The population of the study was uh, parents uh, in Rawalpindi uh, whose uh, students are uh, studying uh, education in Army Special Education uh, Academy and uh, Army Public School in uh, Fort Road. So after the population, uh, we can see uh, 10 parents were selected from the army the special education institution whose, ch uh, whose ch children were getting education in Asia and 10 students, uh, 10 parents were taken from those uh, who were in the waiting list, who were not enrolled in the uh, institute of special education and 10 parents were taken from the uh, army public school. Uh, tool of the study the, the, this tool was uh, taken for the early and uh, uh, early childhood parenting assessment form this form uh, has the following constructs knowledge about the ecg and the importance childhood nourishment and the mother care development of the child involvement of the family members and after that the semi structured interview was taken from the parents uh, pre test and then post test these are the phases of the study first of all uh, uh, from this uh, assessment form, uh, baseline study was uh, taken. Base baseline form was given to the parents, uh, all parents uh, having uh, before the uh, training of the uh, study. And then baseline after getting the baseline study, then intervention was uh, given uh, through the three modules which my, uh, Madam has just recently mentioned about that module one, two, and three through the different apps, WhatsApp group uh, and uh, then uh, Facebook and uh, Zoom meetings were conducted for the training of the parents. And then 
in three uh, after three modules after that uh, in phase three semi structured interviews uh, were taken from the parents either they got uh, uh, information about the uh, ecd and how much they have got the uh, informative about it. and then at, at last uh, pre test uh, was taken from the uh, all the sample size uh, having uh, children with or without uh, disability Data was collected uh, through the uh, through the form and pre-test and then training was given to the parents and then uh, pre-test form was given to the parents through uh, application of the assessment tools and through the uh, modules which were uh, given the training for the parents to fill the form and we got the uh, post-test scores for the children. Thematic analysis was used. Uh, for this uh, in module one, uh, we can see that the uh, we can see uh, done for the responsible for the modules in module one training in semi structured uh, interview. They were not found zero parents. Most of the parents were found that they were not about the ECD about their children, either they were uh, having a child with special needs or not. Uh, then it awareness campaign uh, was provided uh, for the insight to, to know about the module number two and then from module number two parents were feeling relaxed and they were happy to know about the, how they can care about uh, for their children especially for the parents who had the special need children when we talk about the id students as asia deals with the children with intellectually delayed children this is uh, and uh, this is not an easy disability to handle because parents of the ID children they have to face more problems and uh, and their handling situation especially if, uh, while dealing with their initially they have to teach the daily living skills to their special kids which is the very very important to be independent to make the students for special needs to make the independent in their daily life because they have to manage themselves to make them independent these modules were very effective for the parents. In module 3, expected mothers and caregivers, uh, they were thankful for getting the education about the module 1, 2 and 3. Parents awaiting list reported uh, about 3 modules, we, we got the different uh, opinions from the parents from module 1 and 2 and 3. And for module 3, it was reported that they learned about the uh, module 3 key practices for the family members. And for the uh, parents uh, uh, whose children were getting education in Army Special Education Academy, they experienced about the module one that was related to the early childhood development that they, it was very useful for, for them. And then uh, parents whose children were non-disabled, uh, whose who were getting education in Army public school institution, they were satisfied with the module two uh, and they were thankful to the uh, trainer. They, we can see the mean social score uh, in module one. Uh, we can see most all the parents were not about aware of the module one to and three. To some extent, few parents were uh, able to understand ECD. They knew something about ECD, but we can see and we can see that uh, most of the parents, uh, uh, most of the parent responses that. They were not aware about these types of training module one, two, and three through different apps that can be helpful for their for their children to make them independent, to make them socialize, to handle them them with the age of zero to eight years, either they are going to school or not. And in post test after the training, we got the scores of the post test in module one to three. We can compare the pre test and post test scores that we can see after getting the training. Uh, most of the parents were. They, they were uh, able to understand uh, ECD and uh, to some extent was a little bit more and at last we can see that few parents were whose responses were they don't know about the ECD. It means that after this training, if we see compare the mean social score of these two trainings, pre-test and post-test, we can see the difference between mean social score of the pre-test and post-test control group design. Uh, we can uh, we saw that significant significant difference was found in the uh, pre-test and post-test control group design uh, in all module one, two, and three, and significant difference was found. Uh, findings so we can say uh, that these uh, training uh, module one, two, three was very effective for the parents to handle them at their home, uh, not only at their home at their schools.
parents were satisfied with their planning and it was appreciated by the parents that it can be helpful for the parents whose children are special needs because I have only mentioned that these children they are not easy to handle or tackle not only in the school especially students most of the time they spend their time at their homes so this is most uh, important for the parents to to make early intervention for their children with special needs once they get the proper training or they get the assessment or they get the early intervention then parents are able they can be able to handle their special needs children recommendations time and sample size can be increased uh, and more parents in a wide area this study can be explored to find out the facts of these uh, types of training so that other other parents having their non disabled children and especially for those parents whose children are with special needs this module and this training can be helpful for the uh, special education parents they can use these apps they can do use this training for the betterment and for the autonomous and for the independence of the children with special needs these are the references and thank you so much Okay, I just wanted to know uh, your sample size and if you know that how many parents uh, were of, uh, were, did have uh, children with special needs. There were, there were 30, uh, 30 parents. Uh, 10, 10 parents were those whose children are getting education in special education. 10, children, uh, 10, 10 parents were those whose children are in waiting list but they are not enrolled in the institute. And 10 parents were those whose parents uh, whose children are getting education in general education or normal setup or that's it. Are you able to compare uh, the pre and post test results of uh, the 20 cohort and the 20 cohort? Uh, the you can see uh, another option will start. Yeah. Gina, but, uh, this doesn't, I think, uh, separate out the 10 parents who had children with disability. Uh, I just want to know if the results were different. In suggestions, we have mentioned sample size can be increased. Uh, and uh, Let me explain that. Well, uh, this is mentioned, it is mentioned in this slide that parents in waiting list reported that, that they learned a lot about the module 3 because that module was relevant to their concerns. And uh, in module 2, parents of enrolled students in ASIA, Army Special Education Academy, shared their experience about the module 1 because that module was related to their concerns. And APS uh, parents. Uh, shared that their experiences that module 2 was helpful for them because that was relevant to their counseling session and their, that module helped them. <coughs>